All uh, right. Okay. Uh, I got two things, and the one mm -hmm. thing will lead into the other. And and I need you to be honest with me, because a lot of the things that I'm trying to figure out and decide kind of weighs on the things you're about to tell me. Um, okay. So, because I, I, I do need your help in some way, may, uh, I think. I'm still trying to figure out what my move will be, but let's start with the first thing. Um, what's your business with Lang, and why does it still currently exist? Just so I kind of know where you're at. <laughs> what's my business with him? Yeah. I don't do business. I don't have business with Lang. We're just close, like... Okay. Uh, basically, we're close via proxy through Speedy. Okay. And essentially, like, over the last, I don't know, probably a couple of years, year and a half, we've been, you know, helping Buddha with his campaign mm -hmm. and, um, you know, told him I, we'd have his back if, you know, some groups were trying to fuck with him. Obviously, when you and when GG, when I say you, when GG yeah, yeah. and, and Buddha and his roosters people were beefing, I told both sides that, like, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not getting involved. Like, I'm not even... The, the closest thing that I offered was to be a mediator, to be like, to talk to both sides and try and calm down the, the yeah. storm. But outside of that, I think everybody, in, including all of the gangs, they know where I stand on with both you guys and mm -hmm. with Buddha. So does he have any sort of persuasion or power to manipulate any sort of decision making you're, you're doing in regards to you and I ties, being PSK and GG? No, there's nothing he could okay. do or say that's going to get me to to go against GG or try and fuck you guys over. Okay. Like, I value the relationship more than money or opportunity. All right. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Um, and the way I look at things, I think everybody in this fucking city has worked or is working with him anyway. So it's not like a, mm -hmm. it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just, you know, due to our recent, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, events, we've kind of just uh, a little allergic to uh, Mr. L Mr. Lang, you know? So I just wanted to make no, sure that that's, that's squared away. If, well, if I don't I do... do business with him. Yeah, I know. I offered, I offered mm -hmm. to to be of service of his. He yeah. told me he was going to get back to me about that, but I never heard back yet. So, gotcha. uh, in in terms of a business opportunity, I have no ties directly with Buddha. Okay, all right, that's good. All my stuff with Speedy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, um, what is your opinion about the Italians? Luciano I don't have one. I just met. I just met the. What was? What did you just say his name was? Cristiano. Uh, Lu yeah. Luciano Dicenzo uh, is Lucia. one of them, and then Vito yeah. is the second hand. He's got a bunch of other dudes. So I just met Luciano last night in Little Italy. The, I I woke up uh, later Dude. NA uh, to because mm -hmm. we've had people selling in Cyprus. So I've just been like waking up to see if I can catch whoever's yeah, there. I can tell you who's behind that if you want to know. Yeah, I mean, I would like to know. Uh, it's a key. Are you sure? Sakit's been handing out drugs and telling people to push on Cyprus. Yeah, he was kind of joking about it on the phone with me earlier. So okay, one, one because... of you guys. Uh, so yesterday, I had a little bit of a, a bit of a fuck around, a little bit of you know, a little a little play fight with Sakit at LP, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, Reed had an RPG and we're kind of like throwing it around like hot potato, and we're blowing up each other's cars, and then I end up shooting him down. And I had one of your guys take him to the uh, to grandma's, and I think. Uh, I forgot who it was, but it was a dude on a bike, black uh, BSK mask, white guy. He uh, mm -hmm. semi-pressed Sakid about the drugs, and he asked mm -hmm. Sakid if he did it, and Sakid says, yeah. Uh, and he was just kind of making a mockery of it on the phone with me today. Okay, so. well, I mean, that's good to know, because <laughs> we caught uh, two people selling. Mm -hmm. um, their names are... Harry and Adam, right? Here. Or Henry and Adams? yeah harry yeah. and adam yeah exactly yeah, i know there's a two um, new guys we, to the city they're kind of uh, figuring mm -hmm. out their moves and he's been sort of uh mentoring slash providing things and he's just kind of pushing them down here uh with product provided by him just to kind of like uh, learn the ropes you know so yeah well that's what they told us like they were upfront and mm -hmm. honest about everything they told us that they got their meth from zakid yeah. Um, but the Zakid didn't tell them to specifically sell in Cyprus. He, they told me that he basically just gave meth, and they've been selling in many different areas. Yeah, like well, they had already gotten from in that guy. Okay. All right. Because he told me on the phone, so you know. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, I trust you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm being you know, honest with you because I think that's the best way uh, always. So, 
and it's also kind of showing my incentive towards you, you know, and my, my I guess, intentions. Because um, there's, there's an issue that's kind of arisen. Um, okay. Judy had given Luciano, aka the Italians, until Monday to pay 750000 Yes. Mm-hmm. He's now two days past. I've not heard anything from them yet. There's going to be a time where I need to have a sit down with him, remind him, and make him aware that every day that goes on, there'll be another 50k added on top. Um, but obviously, you know, I can't walk up on my own, and I can I can probably grab some dudes that are able to help out. Um, but I'm just trying to figure out as to what the right way to do things is. And considering mm-hmm. now that Sakid's kind of poking around here, and he's pretty closely tied with them as well, not necessarily in Italian, but, you know, uh, it's all in the same camp, you know, up there, so... Um, I don't know if you want to get involved in any sort of way and, and help with that, um, but if you do, it'd be welcomed. If not, it's all right. It's your call to make. <laughs> so, what are you proposing here? So and I'm gonna talk to him. Do you want me to get involved? Do you yeah, want me to, you well, know, grab the troops and smoke these dudes and be like, give the money, or do you want me to? It sit depends down with on what happens, right? And, so I'll uh, talk to them and, and I'll bring people with me. We'll sit down and I'll remind them of the payment he is, he is due. And if he wants an extension, that is fine. It'll go 50k per day up. And if he just simply declines, then I guess it's on smoke. So what? It, why does he owe you this money again? It had I to don't do know the, the exact a warehouse details. or something. It was somebody yeah, told me something. Yeah, so I think it might have to do with the Boris guy. Who, this is what I'm assuming. I gotta talk to the guys and really get the details from this. But I'm close with Boris. I know Boris. I wouldn't say close, but it's funny that you mention that because. What, three or four days ago, sorry, Boris sorry. called me it's my bridge. and wanted me That's to meet house. with the Italians, told me that I'd really like them and that we should do business together. Yeah. Um, So I don't know if Boris has to do with your issue or... I, I'm not sure, but I'll tell you this. Uh, Boris did this part of the Italians and he, I guess, had the warehouse and then did a bunch of snaky shit. It was kind of, honestly, is one of the reasons why this whole war with them initially begun. Um, and... Also, why there's still an issue with the Italians, right? I think that's the main thing. Um, but regardless, I, I don't really care too much about the details. I've just been told what how it is, and this is how we move forward. And if they want to talk details and have a QA, and a they can pay the money and go talk to the guys in Brunnenbrook, you know, if they really want to know. That's that's kind of where I so, stand, right? Okay, so do you mind telling me it's you don't know exactly what happened? Because, like, well, obviously I'm getting the, there was get a, the story from... Yeah, so there was a two-week diff- uh, gap between, I guess, the war that, that took place with the, the guys up there and us and me coming back and kind of getting updated. And I didn't really have any sort of, uh, you know, recap on what happened in those two weeks. All I know is that there's been some shootouts between some of our guys and the Italians and then the demand of money was made. And they were used given a deadline uh, for Monday, which is now two days ago. Um, and I think it has to do, what I assume with the whole Boris guy, being Italian, snake in the warehouse, you know, getting rid of all the product that was in there, which is a lot of money, um, and just kind of like getting away with that scot-free, you know? So your stuff was in the warehouse? And yeah, so sold it, it was a warehouse full of shit, and because Dickhead and Ford and the guys kind of did some funny shit at the Roosters, you know, the, the TV show drive-by thing that they got punished for, you know, they got shot down, thrown in the pit, and they suffered and ascended. And then peace was called. Followed then the next day, Lang disregarded all peace that was made the day before and blew up the fucking restaurant. But the Boris dude never actually, you know, uh, paid up or, or fixed the issue. He just kind of kept it and got rid of all the product, I assume. Sold the warehouse, and I think somebody else owns it now. So he just kind of washed his hands from everything, uh, you know? Okay. And... All right. He also, I think we tried to grab him and he, he fought back. So it was, it was a whole thing. So, and, and we gave him ample opportunity to listen, just give the shit back. We'll get out of your hair. We'll, we'll stop doing business. Just, just, you know, you can wash your hands clean with no effort, no grudge, no fallback. Just give it back and we'll cut ties. And instead he, he got greedy and decided to, to keep the shit. All right. So okay. that's kind well, of where it uh, down to. All right. Well, let me... Let me let me have a couple of conversations. Yeah. You keep me in the loop. Well done. I, I I will tell you this, like out of respect, like mm-hmm. if this requires me to go shoot up uh, Rooster's Italian. Rest or it's, I think just the Italians, you know, it's not going to be Rooster's. Yeah, but it could get it, it could, could get especially murky, with the right? whole Sakit thing regarding you guys too. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So then, like then you'll get Harry in the car, and then now it's only exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Then it just it's a it's a thing. It bleeds over. Hundred percent. The the. The, the, the good news is, is the only 
lifeline that you gave me here that can allow me to get involved and I have an excuse to mm -hmm. is that Zakid purposely are telling people to tank rep in Cyprus and to sell there. Yeah. So, I mean, we basically have a shoe in for that, but that doesn't mean that Zakid isn't going to just suddenly, you know, call up people from roosters or whatever. And that puts me in a fucking shit spot or puts them into Makes a shit sense. spot. Um, so this is just something I'm going to have to navigate and yep. speak to a couple of people. Um, I'm, I want to have a chat with Zakid, but the, like, I don't know if he's going to bullshit me to my face or he fucking, probably will. yeah, I mean, him and I have always kind of had a dodgy he's relationship. Cocky, you know? so it's, it's how he exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, he just thinks he's a one man army. He always has. So and it, it is it is what it is so anyway i appreciate you coming to me i yeah, will just, uh, um I'll, I'll have some combos yeah talk to you guys about things and just to figure out where your head's at look if yeah. you say no no problem at all i can get some other guys it's just i'd rather do things because here, here, i'll tell you i'll be honest as to what i'm thinking right if if some of the guys that i do have uh, hanging around and, and being able to help out if the guys that are now in bonenbrook wanted those people to be the ones to fill the void they would have planned that beforehand but all Correct. I know is that they had a, a bridge built with you and they've put energy and time into and, and you know in, in your relationship with us. So I wanna kind of respect that and, and go the right routes before I start improvising and starting fucking, you know. Well, what about thing. the piss babies? Where where well, are the piss babies? Well, that's at? what I'm saying. I, I can I can pull those in and, and take care of shit anyway. But there's a reason why that weren't kind of like prepared for anything beforehand. So I don't wanna like step yeah. on any toes and jump the gun when they've obviously made this as a this so what happens with you. if I can get your money back? Like, what what happens if I can have a conversation Done. with these guys, talk some sense into them, Done. and I get you your seven hundred and fifty k? Fine by me. Okay. As long All as right. I pay the money, I'm cool. And regardless, with or without you, uh, if they refuse and if they, you know, yeah, you do what you got to do. Yeah, 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 I get. Finally, we'll, no. we'll you know bleed red once again. So. Yeah, no yeah. issue. Oh, it's all <clears throat> it's all good. All right. Well, I appreciate it, yeah. Jules. I'll uh I'll have some conversations. Yeah, let me know. Let's link back up. Um, either. We can we'll talk tomorrow. tomorrow. Like. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk exactly. tomorrow. Somewhere around this time, All maybe, right. maybe a little earlier. Depends All right. On the menu well, around. sounds good, man. All right, man. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate your time. It. Thank you for, yep. uh, for everything, honestly. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll no talk problem. tomorrow. All right, my man. Hey, brother. <laughs> yeah, I think kind of like uh, the straight to his face, asking him what's your business and why does it still exist. I think him tell me things, and then also giving him a bit of a olive branch, giving him the secret information. I think kind of make that affair and now you know the second chapter regarding the whole italian thing uh, i think giving him the decision to kind of decide it shows me as to, okay how far are they willing to actually help because i don't need them i can just go with the boys and figure it out but if he's able to or if he's willing to help or maybe he gets him to pay maybe he gets to roll out with me whatever it may be i need to know this you know uh, for the coming month. So 